Hello, welcome to this video. Today, we're going to mount a rescue mission. Now, quickly, SAS on, full follow, let's go. Now, if you've watched my previous videos, you may know we've stranded a particular Kerbal. Actually, you may know we've stranded several particular Kerbals, as will be the nature of a lot of these videos, but we're going to rescue one of them. We're going to be rescuing a Kerbal from Minmus. Yes. Yes, the Minmus Kerbal. If you recall that video, it's uh, quite interesting actually. Um, yeah, we had a bit of a problem with this exact craft here. I sort of didn't anticipate how much fuel was still left in it and I fired off a stage when I typically don't normally have a fire. Uh, the end result nevertheless was tearing out the central fuselage of my return craft. Uh, essentially dooming three Kerbals to their death. Now luckily, Minimus has such an extremely low gravity, one of the Kerbals was able to EVA and he used his RCS to safely get to the ground. Um, there's not much he can really do there, I mean he's probably enjoying the scenery, but he's pretty much been there this whole time. So we're going to try rescue him. Now we're using the same craft because I need to prove to myself this craft is not cursed. If you recall, we accidentally tried to land it with no form of probodyne attached. Yes, we lost control at the last moment and it crashed into the mountains of Kerbin. It was interesting and we didn't lose any lives at least. It was unmanned, which I suppose was the reason it was not able to be controlled really. Anyway. First stage. Will there be explosions? Surely, some explosions. I'm concerned. If the explosions aren't there, where are they going to be? Nice spread though. Alright, we're gonna begin getting ourselves some horizontal velocity here. And I've done no pre-planning for this. I've got no clue where Mimis is in relation to us. There's the DSS! I'm convinced as the yeah, that is definitely the DSS. 70 k's up, they'll put it, you know, roughly about 100,000. That is, that is our DSS. We visited that before, and it's traveling the right direction. That's really cool. You could probably prove this by. Well, it's not showing. Of you. I would have thought it would have shown the DSS there. Oh well. Let's continue anyway, shall we? Doing our main burnout. Uh, Minmuses. Oh, it's over there. Okay. Well, what we will do here, we're going to circularize then. Oh, what's that perhaps? Oh, that is already huge. Absolutely massive. Oh. Well, wait until we're actually in space. We'll hear the music. So we hear about 70,000. And. There we go. Now, careful with the time warp. We don't want to do anything stupid here. Such as time warp too much, we're going to crash straight into the ground here. And uh, we almost did that with our Juno visit uh, video. We landed, and it was actually quite enjoyable when we did land. So, I was, um, like I say, it made for an eventful video, I think. And really, it's all about the entertainment. I mean, who cares if something didn't go down textbook or certain missions weren't technically completed or we missed a particular thing as long as you guys are entertained uh, that's all I really care about I'll bring that I won't tell anymore uh, now where are we? Minmus is over there what we'll do, we'll, let's do this the proper way shall we? rather than blindly doing everything, we'll set it as our target we have our ascending and descending those there, it's 4.8 degrees we'll do this later when we have a bigger orbit and use less fuel and we'll probably want to come out this way. So I would assume if I have my maneuver bef just before I pick the apsis. Um, whoop. Perhaps to be around there. We're not going to get a lock until we fix these nodes anyway. So what shall we just 4.6, 0.2, 4.1, 4.2, 4.1, 4.2, 4.2, 4.2, 4.2, 4.2, 4.2, 4.2, 4.2, 4.2, 4.2, 4.2, 4.2, 4.2, 4.2, 4.2
So I'm not happy. I'm going to do a manoeuvre here instead, shall we? No, that will completely miss. Well, this is meant to make it a bit easier doing it this way, but it's just confusing us because we don't have these ascending and descending nodes correct. We're not going to get a, a lock, per se. Alright, well... It'd be cool if at least the target thing would come up. I'm just going to do this a bit... I think blind will work better here. I mean... Could we fix those ascending and descending nodes, actually? We'll, oh, we'll do it properly then. Let's, let's fix our nodes first. Oh, it's not even that much burn required. Point one. Point one. Uh. Oh. Well, I'm happy with point one. Let's just leave it at that. To our manoeuvre. Uh, we've got four minutes. Three. Two. One and okay to our maneuver node. Maybe for some RCS, I'll get there a bit quicker. Gonna run out of time otherwise. Um, what is this again? That's uh, anti-normal to do that. I keep forgetting that. We'll do this just a three. Uh, does that coming up? Oh no, it's, it's still going down. Zero. Fantastic. All right, now we should be able to get ourselves a target. Now, let's just assume we're just going to do a burn from here. What would happen? <laughs> we would leave. Completely leave. So, I think we're going to have to do a burn from behind us. Probably from, I don't know, here, for example. That looks a bit better. What's going to happen if we do this? Yep. Just as we thought. That's actually <laughs> couldn't have been any better a position there. 34 minutes. Let's head there, shall we? 32, 31, too slow. Still too slow. 27, 26, 25, 24. Where <sighs> should we get to that maneuver? 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. I probably could have time walked a bit quicker. I'm a little sketchy of my time warp at this moment here, just because of what happened on Juno. Lost my time warping confidence. Alright, so we'll close this off again. And we're, it's obviously just our pro-grade position we're moving into. I don't know, I really didn't need to bother with anything like that. Time to do some burning. How much fuel does this stage actually have? I mean, this is still a big stage, of course. It's doing all the hard work for us. Almost did all the hard work for us. And that's right, this is our stage with the clipping here. That's how we remember it's our cursed craft. See, it doesn't seem to bother it too much, and hence why I've left it. This will be the vast majority of our fuel burning, this exact burn here. Well, obviously, I mean, when you think about the, the Kerbal solar system, all the planets sort of have their real counterpart, with, with the exception. I mean, Juno, obviously, is meant to be Mars, or Venus, Mercury. Uh, Drez. Drez is a bit of a weird one, because, I mean, that really, that should be where Saturn is. But, as you know, it's certainly not... It's not like Saturn, it has no rings or anything like that. It's, it's really quite a boring rock, similar to any moon. Just hard to get to. I think it's mainly to just prove to yourself you can get there. That 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 is the result. If you can get there, that is the fun. Just because it's difficult. Man, this is such a tiny amount of fuel needed. 42, let's do that. Let's go boosting to Minmus now. Because I forget, we still we do need a bit of other fuel here, because we want to land precisely, actually. Yes, that's right. And I can't remember what angle or anything like that it was. The great thing is, because of how ridiculously low the gravity is on Minmus, 
we can really just fire ourselves into the exact direction and then burn at the last moment and we'll be absolutely fine. I just hope there's light there. It would take an unprecedentedly long period of time to get it from daylight to night and night to daylight. And that's just because obviously it doesn't rotate, it's tidally locked. Wait, no, no, it's not tidally locked. I think it does rotate. This we will work out. So I'm sure when we went there, rotation of it was quite an issue. That could be good news then for us. Otherwise, night mission. Hopefully not a night mission. Though if we recall, it was a giant sort of ocean area that he's sort of stuck in the um the Kerbal we're trying to rescue. So it won't be hard to really you know, spot him. Okay. And we're coming in here. We want to come in a bit He's there. We saw him. So at least he's appearing. And it looks like it's daylight there. Hmm. Let's see what kind of speed it is when we come in towards... Mimis. And where is it? Does it rotate? I am convinced that is rotating, yes. And we have a curve in here. We'll set that as our target. Descending node is about 8.1 there. What we we want I think we want to circularize. I don't think we can just fire ourselves at it. It does rotate very quickly actually. So let's have a better look. Where where is this Kerbal? Well, it's definitely in the dark now. So what we're going to do we are going to go into a retrograde position here. Now move into a retrograde position. And we'll kill whatever perfect amount of speed we already have. And we're just going to orbit a couple of times. Dropping the periapsis down just a little bit there. Okay. And we'll have a completed orbit in just a moment. And... There we go. We That's not at all ideal. Uh, it doesn't matter. We'll wait till we get a bit closer in here before we move back into our retrograde position. And we'll bring this down a bit more. A little bit more of a burn. And trust me, we have plenty of fuel to burn with here. We can just burn, 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 burn all we want. And I just want to do this so it's a bit quicker. Now he really is just there by the looks of it, but I just I'm convinced we're not gonna be able to see him. So let's let's orbit a couple of times. Dear God. I should have increased the distance of that. Yeah, it's rotating and it's rotating quick. There is no doubt it's not tidally locked. Okay. Now Let's try one more rotation, just to be safe. Yep. There you go. It's always going to be in the dark again, at this stage. Okay, and... I think here's a good spot. Into our retrograde position. Okay, and now I'll move a bit more, just because I want to kill it here. So much easier than doing this on the moon. We... I'm so glad we did this on the equator, this landing. And we're just literally going to aim just a smidge in front. Now then, a retrograde we're still in. Let's go find ourselves a Kerbal. He's over there. <laughs> oh, nice shot. Alright, so 
big C over there. Oh, there's a couple of things popping up. Oh, probably the flag as well. Yes. Whoa! That looks like a concern to me. Yes, yes that is. I think we really needed to... Oh, I'm just going to move myself this way a little bit. There we go. That should be fine. And what's that going to do? Yeah, that was a bit of a worry then. So we're gonna I'm just gonna move it a wee bit more over here because it's that rotation is really an issue on this planet. It rotates fast. In fact, even though I know I'm travelling this way, you can almost feel the rotation of the planet just looking at that. Alright, well there is our target there. Wait till we get a bit closer, because look at our speed, 170, we'll virtually be able to kill it instantly. And uh, 25k's away. We'll do this just until it flips, I guess. Back in stability assist mode. And we'll just I'll push ourselves this way just a little bit. There we go. See, there's our target there. We want to get the X lined up with the dot. So, to do that, oh, we'll just move it here. Actually, I, just, I want it just under it, really. We'll, we'll just line it up this way here. We don't want it perfectly on it, because that means we're going to crash into it diagonally. We don't want that. Just under that, that will give us some time to do some horizontal maneuvering. Cool. Back to retrograde. Now we should be pointing right at it pretty much. Oh, we maybe turn a bit to the left. That might get worse as we get closer, so... Sort of hard to do just because of the perspective here on the angle. Okay. Uh, can we time warp a little? We can a little bit. Uh, we're definitely going to miss it a little bit. So we'll aim it about here. I think that'll be a nice safe spot. See how it's it's moving? It's always going to move the opposite direction to where you want. All right. I think that's good now just underneath it and no gravity's really dragging that back up straight away isn't it we'll see what does it look like when we go to try to time oh we can't time warp now no gravity's definitely getting to us a bit still so look, we'll aim up here oh, of course it is I mean how slow we're going it's like we really need to I think push ourselves this way. I reckon we'll do the rest by eye. Turn this off the target, put it on surface. Because if you don't do that, you've got no idea where you're actually travelling in relation to the ground. Don't worry, Kerbal. We're coming to rescue you. Ever so slowly. And think, well, about 1.6 it says here. I don't know what the actual altitude is. I think that was a fairly good burn we did. To the retrograde. Gears down. Okay. Yeah, and just line this up with our target a bit. Mm. 
Now this would be a difficult manoeuvre to do on the Mune. Definitely difficult. Minmus, easy as. I mean, we can kill this horizontal velocity if we want. We can even quickly just boost off again. Oh, I'm sure he can walk that remaining distance. Oh no, it's easier doing it like this, surely. Actually. We Let's just get that little bit closer, shall we? Just because we have so much fuel, why not? Love this backflip maneuver. We. It's actually quite cool. Let's see if we can do that one more time, I think. We'll just get that a bit more horizontal. Yep. And backflip. And get ready to Was this guy gonna do it by itself? It's arcing. It's gravity turning. It's gravity turning. No. Do a tiny bit. 540, 540, 500. Yep. We're gravity turning in. I guess you could do this on the moon. It would just be very tricky. We don't burn him. There he is. I'm sure we can. Can we turn that target off? No? Maybe. Oh, I hope they don't have to walk too far. How's that? Your Uber has arrived. Oh, bit of a bounce. <laughs> That's actually a bit fast. Ah, oh, yes. Can we? So, what we're going to do now is... Can we just click this Kerbal and switch to them? Shift. Oh, no. <laughs> That's a bit silly. Why did I hit Shift? Back down. Yeah. Oh, the only way I can think to do this, unfortunately, is if we go back to our Space Center... I'm sure you could, there's a way you can just click on the Kerbal and take control of it. Maybe it's just for a craft. Anyway, if that's the case, we're at our tracking station. Uh, we will go to our EVA Kerbals. Over here. There we go. Fly. There we are. Okay then. Oh, does he have... Yeah, plenty of RCS left. <laughs> I just realised that would have been funny if there was no RCS left for him. Or was it him or her? Alright, now. Where is the entrance to our craft? There, there it is. Well, oh, RCS down, because, you know, Minmus. Ridiculous. What happened there? Just a bit there. It's a bit tricky sometimes. 
And we will board. Hello there, thank you for coming to rescue me. Now then. Let's get the heck out of here. You still have your surface samples? I hope so. In fact, actually, we will hold that for a second. While we're in here, let us do at least a... Is there anything we can really... No, we, we have this. We have plenty of science anyway already. Now, we're not going to do what we did last time. Which is, I hit space right here to jettison this stage. And as you can see, it's well and truly burning. If this was leaving the moon, it would have a fraction of fuel left. And I would have just gently launched it and fired it off. But here, landing on Minmus, you really don't need much fuel. Alrighty. We are beginning to leave Minmus. It's a nice craft, really. I think we can test here. Well, there's a bit more science we can get. Log temperature? Yes. Cool. And we don't have to transmit it, too, because we're going back to Kerbin. We're going to take all of this with us. It's that pressure thing. Oh, you can't do an atmosphere test here. No. Well, that would make sense. Oh! <laughs> We've already reached escape velocity. <laughs> and we are... Slingshot out, I guess. Come into a bit of a orbit here. Okay, cool. This is actually quite far away still, so that's fine. We're going to do our return ho to home burn there. Oh, sorry, I missed all the awesome view for you of leaving Minmus. Bye bye, Minmus. Look at its rotation. Look at it rotate. Okay, enough about that. Time to go home, I think. Now we, uh, I mean, we're just going to do a slingshot here. This is our periapsis, but this is really far out. So, as far as we're concerned, this is our farthest apoapsis retrograde. Ah, see, let's do this a bit quicker. Impatient turning and begin our burn. This will come straight back in and then very quickly become our periapsis, and this will switch very quickly. Oh, we just had another Minimus encounter, was it? I think it was. Bring this into, oh, I don't know, 20 or something like that. There we go, our Perapsis and Periapsis have now switched. And I think... Yeah, we'll use these engines to do this burn. Might as well, they're way more powerful than the <laughs> tiny little engine I've got in the middle. Okay, we'll bring this right down. As we all know, so it's 20,000. Oh, could have got, should we visit the moon as well? And this is really, I guess, not too much going on in this video. This is, this is really quite boring. Everything's going along so smoothly. Picked him up, yes. Collected some science, We're coming back safely. Maybe they'll all die as we try to bring them home. Who knows? Four, three, two, one, and a bit more. So I said 20. 20. 20. Well, oh, that's frustrating. 20. Where is Kerbin? Surely we can see it across. The eastern plane here. We're going to be moving very slow, so that's. Oh, there we go. We'll move into a retrograde position. We have nothing going on now. Nothing burning to break off of us. Actually, I want to go into a prograde position. Okay. And. What happened? Why did they not break off? Well, now they have. Get away from me! Get away! <laughs> the cursed pieces! Cool. Well, now we can move into our retrograde position. 
fire this thing off as well. We didn't even use this entire section. I have a friend who will really, really enjoy seeing that. There we go. Bring us down to 70. And we are coming in with a f pretty fantastic re-entry speed. Which is no concern. You can pretty much put this craft pod thing within a blade like that for anything you want. Absolutely anything you want. Yep. Turning home. And so far, this is completely stock standard safe mission. Everything is going right. We picked up the guy pretty easy. It was all, yep. Scientist too. This is pilot I took, yep. Now we're landing. And heck was that? I have no clue. Oh, I love that massive crater in the moon. It always makes it look like a Death Star, sort of. It's quite a basic shot, but that's really aesthetically pleasing, looking at that. That shadow is just cast in the perfect direction. Yep. Bits of debris are going to burn up everywhere. Oh, negative Gs and... Picking up G force here, yeah, I mean sorry. There's a lot of G force actually, yeah. What would that be? Six? Six G's? Moving a six and a half G. Imagine six and a half times Earth's gravity on you. At least you get a nice view. Well this guy's been Yeah. Hello! Well, we so far we have control. Stage lighting is on. And we're coming to land on ocean, I'm guessing. But not far out on the ocean, if we are. Well, this seems so far so good. Yeah, well, we definitely just missed the land. It's not like I was really aiming for anywhere in particular. Maybe the next time I come back, I might actually aim for the KSP. I don't even know where the KSP is. Yes, well, I think we're landing quite safely this time. I don't think we're too far out from the land. Won't be a huge recovery issue. Bye-bye, Ablator. And we'll come down again till we get into the final 100 metres and boom. And just like that, we're home safe. We picked up Elzor. Mission accomplished. That was an extremely successful mission. I'm not going to lie, I think this was my least satisfying mission so far. And it was the one that where everything went alright. I mean, it was a bit time consuming. Getting to Minmus, I suppose. We really got a lock on it straight away. A couple of backflip maneuvers I guess we did. That was a bit unorthodox. But besides that, everything really ran very, very smooth. Um Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed it anyway. I did say we'd pick this guy up, so commitment met to him. That's really about it. Like I always say. Until next time. <laughs>